Hey guys, I wanted to jump on really quickly and intro this vlog. Um, so the footage that you are about to watch was from the last week. It was the week possibly a little bit before and then a little bit after the Ultimate Planner sale. So as um, some of you guys probably know, I was in Disney the past week. I have now been home for a few days and I'm trying to kind of like get everything going again. Um, we did not shut down the shop while I was gone, but we also haven't released anything in a couple of weeks other than some $2 Tuesday stuff. So, I just haven't had a second to sit down and film this, um, or not film this, but edit the vlog. Right before I left, I really wanted to get that done, get that uploaded before I went. But as always, shop stuff took priority. Um, we ended up getting all of those orders done before I left, which was the goal, but that took until... God, I don't know, Friday evening, um, and it was a lot for us to get through. Like, it was a lot of work. I was really tired by the time that we were done. So while I wanted to get this video uploaded before then, it didn't happen. Um, I do still want to get it up, though, because this is a lot of behind the scenes in the shop, um, Ultimate Planner Sale type stuff. I'll link everything for Ultimate Planner Sale below. Um, and yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys, though, for a second before you guys see this footage. Uh, just number one because it's I don't feel like it's gonna make super a lot of sense if I'm showing footage from two weeks ago But that is what is going on here. Also um, I've not talked to a camera in a really long time. So I'm feeling kind of weird about it um, The shop's anniversary our four-year anniversary uh, Sale is going to be starting on Friday So we have not released anything for a couple of weeks and one reason that I decided to do that was because of the anniversary sale so we've got a ton of new releases for that. We are doing 40% off since it is our four year anniversary. That is a very large discount for us. We don't normally go quite so high. Um, stock is going to begin in unlimited, but I'm gonna have to keep an eye on it because I'm, I'm not, I don't wanna overwhelm myself again. Um, so yeah, anyway, but we are gonna have mm, between two to five new collections. It's gonna depend on what I'm gonna release. I'm not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm going to do as many as I feel like I can though. I wanted to hold on to them so that I could release them for the anniversary sale that you guys could take advantage of that discount. Also, we will have a bunch of giveaways going on in both the Facebook group and on Instagram. Um, and then we have got, you guys, I have so many samplers from other shops. Um, and I've not decided yet how I want to do that. So once I know that, I'll put all of that info up. There is some other stuff going on as well for that. Um, but if you're interested, Instagram, the Facebook group, all of that, I will have all of the details posted there. Um, but I felt like I kind of needed to explain a little bit why we've not had new releases. And then also, of course, that's also why I have not posted any videos in a minute. Um, UPS back to back with a vacation was just a lot and I, I haven't had time. Even being back home, I haven't had time. And a lot of things happened before, like my TV broke like two days before I left for vacation. Um, so like when I got back, I had to deal with that. It was just a lot. Uh, so yeah, I wanted to hop on and tell you guys that you're now going to see the footage from, uh, the ultimate planner sale. And I'm not hundred percent sure if there is an outro to that vlog. So it may end weirdly, like just kind of cut off. Um, I'm not hundred percent sure, but I did get a little bit of footage while we were working through orders as well as I believe a little bit from before. So I hope you guys enjoy watching. Um, and yeah, sorry if the end just cuts off really weird, but I hope you guys enjoy. Good morning. <laughs> it is Wednesday. Oh, it's about 7 a.m. I am leaving my house right now to go run. I don't want to, like I cannot tell you how much I don't want to go run right now, but I did not run yesterday because I was absolutely exhausted. Um, I didn't get very much sleep, so I figured I didn't want to go run. I knew I was going to hurt myself if I ended up doing it. I was going to go later on, but then that didn't happen either, um, which is fine. I ran on Sunday, and I normally take off the weekend, but I just don't want to right now. Like, I'm everything kind of hurts. I'm really tired. I have a lot of work to get done, but I know if I don't go run, I'm not going to feel very good, so I'm going to go and do this. <laughs> um, like I said, it's Wednesday. So we are still um, just kind of trying to get through all open orders right now so that we can be ready for that. I hate pulling out right here. Um, so that we can be ready for that for Ultimate Planner Sale. So Mike is on his way now. Um, 
he comes a little bit later than mom does. Mom wakes up so early that she's like ready to be here at seven, but Mike is like me where he really doesn't want to be up that early. Uh, we are currently working through the Rainbow $2 Tuesday items as well as the premium mat for Cactus and Cozy. There's not a lot of that that needs to be done. Um, later today, after we are finished working, Mike's gonna be working pretty late today, um, but once we're done with all of that, I need to go through and do like a really in-depth supply check to make sure that we're gonna be okay. Um, as I was pulling foil out yesterday from Mike, I noticed that we're getting low on some stuff, so I need to do that, I need to do paper, I believe we're good on mailers, but I need to just check every single thing. Um, I try to do that before a sale like this, but normally even if I didn't do it before a sale like this and I realized like as the sale was happening that we needed something, I could order it and it gets here in a couple of days, so it'd be fine. Um, it's not gonna be fine this time though, just because I'm leaving. So I need to make sure that we have every single thing that we need, um, everything's ready to go, and we're not gonna run out of anything randomly. So I need to do that. There's a lot of stuff to check, to be honest. There's things that, I, that are always in my mind that I'm like, oh, we need, like I need to make sure we have paper, we have ink, those kind of things. But there's a lot of other things that don't get thought about as often, um, like mailers, like blades and mats are something that a lot of the times I don't like think I should check and see when we need to order this. Um, so yeah, I'm rambling. I've not had coffee because I'm going to run. I never drink it before I go. Um, or I try not to drink it before I go because it ends up making me feel bad. So I'm like half asleep. It's so, like I, you guys can see the sun in the camera, but the way that I'm driving, it's like fog. It looks like Silent Hill. So it's just, ugh. I'll feel better after this is done. <laughs> I always know that at least I'll feel better after this is done. But for right now, I'm really not. This isn't what I want to do. I do think I'm gonna go to Starbucks after. Um, I don't normally, but they did put one out by the lake and every now and then I will stop. And because of the type of day that today's gonna be, I think I'm gonna stop, so. I really wanna go back to bed. I'm not gonna lie to anybody. So anyway, that's what's going on on Wednesday. I am gonna take the camera and get some footage for you guys, probably of Mike. Um, possibly I'll get some of me packaging. It's really hard for me to get footage of me packaging because then I have to be concerned the entire time that I'm accidentally showing like addresses or invoice numbers. Um, but I'll definitely get some of Mike and uh, maybe some of the other prep or I could like walk you guys through checking supplies. That to me sounds incredibly boring, but I feel like maybe, I think normally when it's shop related, you guys like to watch that. So maybe I'll take you guys with me to do that. Anyway, I am gonna go and get this done and then I will talk to you guys a little bit later. I feel better. <laughs> um, I keep switching, I think I've talked about this. I keep switching shoes. Mike keeps telling me that the ones that I like to run in are not good to be running in. Okay, so he keeps telling me um, that I need to do something different and I keep trying, but they really bother my feet, I feel like. And I think it's just because I'm not, this person's looking at me like, why am I talking to a camera in this parking lot? Um, I think it, I think he's right, but I have to like get adjusted. So that's what I'm attempting to do right now. Um, yesterday and the day before, my, almost like my Achilles was really bothering me and I'm pretty sure it's because the shoes that I like to wear have like no support. So today I tried to wear one of the ones that has a little bit better and it, my feet feel much better today. It's not that hot so I'm not totally sure why I'm um, this sweaty. I will say that I just got my time down. Let me look. Wow, I have to send this to mom. When I first got back started again, I was it was about 33 minutes. The very first time that I ran was my duration. I just ran at 23 minutes, which is actually faster than what I've done for, a, like, a, I mean, that's the fastest. So that's good. I will say, I need to start driving, that I'm pretty sure there's a direct relation between the amount of pizza that I eat and how quickly I can run this lake. Like I, I had pizza yesterday and I just ran one of my best times. I swear every time I have pizza, I'm able to cut my time down by like a couple of minutes. So I'm pretty sure 
that pizza is the uh, is what's happening here. Bianca, I know you're watching this, and I just want you to know that apparently the pizza's working. Um, anyway, and I'm joking. Like I have been eating like very well since I've started running again, but every now and then I will get pizza, and I'm not joking about the fact that when I do. Um, my time is always cut down by, not even just by like a little bit, but by like a lot. Okay, there's a lot of people in this parking lot that are looking at me because they can see this camera. Um, so I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is Friday. Uh, UPS began today and I am just now, it's about 3 p.m. I'm just now like, um, I'm trying to find somewhere to put you guys. I just, now I'm getting like ready for the day. Does that make sense? I didn't run until, I don't know what I'm gonna set you guys on. Um, I didn't run until like noon, so that was really late. And then I got back um, <clears throat> and have been just, I mean, it's been, like, I've worked all day, whereas normally when this kind of thing happens, I, that's not going to do it, is it? We need one more candle. Um, normally, I just kind of hang around, and I do more, like, there's another candle right here. Um, messages, emails, the group, stuff like that, but because of leaving to go to Disney when I am, does that work? Yeah. I needed to actually work all day. That's still really not. I need one more candle, you guys. <laughs> anyway, so mom and Mike were both here today. Tomorrow is obviously Saturday. They are also going to be here tomorrow. So we are going to be pretty nonstop, I feel like, from this point on. So I'm currently mass printing. I <clears throat> have been like into the orders a little bit to try to see what all we are like selling the most of but the thing is with a sale like this and this is why i feel like i can't prep it's so many <clears throat> different things four four candles that's what you guys are about to be on um 
anyway like i said i'm just now getting like dressed so i thought i have my this i thought that i would do the, like i would try to vlog a little bit while i put my makeup on so this morning the sale started i normally we hit um I know I'm gonna get questions. So Becca, under eye brightening thingamajig. When I've not had much sleep, I start with this. Um, and then this is just the NARS Tinted Moisturizer. I'm still not doing like a foundation. So sale started at nine and obviously I was on the website then and also in the groups just to make sure that everything was gonna be okay. Um, I always like to hang around at least for the first little bit just to you know answer any questions make sure that the code is working all of that um i'm also currently moderating for the ultimate planner sale group so there was you know i had to be over there as well to try and make sure that like everything was you know um going okay over in that group so i did that for about an hour i will say that normally we um, we only do like the first 30 orders as far as samplers go, like the sampler grab bag type things that are from various shops. I'm putting this all the way down my neck because my neck is never tan. Um, my face and my neck and then the rest of me is always a totally different color. So we normally do 30. This time we did 50. Last time when we only had 30, they were gone in the first, I believe, five minutes. So the 50 that we had, um, we actually had for a little while. Like they didn't, they weren't gone immediately. So that was really nice. I believe that from here on out, we will probably always do it that way. Um, split them up so that the bags aren't quite so big, but at least we have a lot of them. I do have a ton of swap samplers for the anniversary sale which I've not even really talked about very much, and that's because I don't know what we're doing. Um, also, the lighting is not the best right now, I'm sorry, but I just have no idea what I wanna do for that. It is gonna be like right when I get back from Florida, which means that there's two decently big sales back to back, um, which I don't care so much about the anniversary one being like, happening i guess because i'll be here i just worry about this one because i'm leaving like <laughs> soon and that is so just it gives me so much anxiety to even think about it um so yeah anyway so this just everywhere i know nobody asked for a makeup tutorial but I, I feel like I have gotten some questions about how I've been doing it since I kind of quit using it. But I know if I don't say what I'm using, somebody's gonna ask me, so I think it's easier to do this. Uh, so I just rub that everywhere. And then I've got the NARS Radiant Creamy something for concealer. I'm gonna wash my hands really quickly though since I just used it to put that moisturizer on and I've got stuff all over me. Also, this is kind of the only time that I have to try to get some vlog footage. So there's that. I did mean to get some footage of mom and everybody this morning, but it was just such craziness like it always is um, with a sale like this. And then add on top of that, that I am helping to moderate the actual UPS group. And that just makes it like all the more crazy. Um, and this is my first like sale doing that. I've been helping moderate for a bit, but this is the first actual like during a sale type thing. I hope I'm making sense. Anyway, so yeah, it looks like everything is going really well though. Um, I'm not like, I'm concerned about getting the orders done with the amount that we currently have, but I'm not like, you know, we can't do this with the amount that we currently have. So I feel like for right now, just gonna leave everything alone. Um, I don't normally put that much concealer on, to be completely honest, I'm not too sure what I'm doing. But I am like pretty red right now since I ran so late. When I went to run, it was only like 80 out, which is hot and way hotter than what I want. Sorry, this lighting is not good. 
way hotter than what I wanted to run in, but the real feel, I checked right when I got there, was like 93. So yeah. Anyway, I'm trying to kind of also get used to being like in Florida. I feel like this is good prep for being in Florida in July. Okay, so next, Becca Hydra Mist Powder. If you have not tried this, I made Bianca, or I, I told Bianca to please buy this and she finally did. Um, this is the most amazing powder I've ever used and I don't really, like this is a new thing for me with like the whole not putting much makeup on type deal to even use a powder like this, but it feels like water and it's just, it feels so good that I keep doing it. Um, I hadn't been doing, because obviously wearing like just a moisturizer and then putting a powder over top of a concealer would, I normally look awful, but not with this. It actually works really nicely and it helps like just kind of with oil and stuff. So I'm gonna wash my hands again though. So I've got concealer all over my fingers. That is also something that with what I've been doing, I am not really using brushes for anything, which is totally different from what I would do before. Normally I would never touch my face with my hands like that. Um, but I don't find that it's causing me to break out or anything. Okay, washing my hands. So, yeah. Um, so far, Ultimate Planner Sale is going really well. I'm actually not gonna keep talking to you guys while I finish this up. Um, so I've got some stuff I've got to do later. That is obviously why I'm doing this right now because I don't have time. Um, so I am going to be mass printing tonight. Like I said, Mom and Mike will be here tomorrow or no maybe just mom will be here tomorrow morning i'm not sure monday they have to go she has to go to get her stitches out um i believe mike is coming after that and also on monday i have a doctor's appointment so i'm gonna have to do that as well um so monday is looking kind of eh. I, I don't like that but i think as long as they're coming this weekend it should be okay so i think that's all i had to update you guys on but yeah ultimate planner sale is going really well so far um, you guys know it's like I'm obsessed with that sale. It's my absolute favorite. I was so excited to be picked to help moderate that group because I really like the girls that run it. Um, Ozzy is passed out in a pile of laundry. <laughs> anyway, um, I think that's it. I, I just wanted to try to get a little bit of footage on sale day because I think this is all I'll be able to get. And then hopefully tomorrow when they get here or when whoever gets here and starts working i will be able to get some more footage for you guys i want to kind of do it the way that i did it last time where i was really like showing you kind of day by day what we were working on and how everything was going behind the scenes so i just wanted to kind of explain what happened today it's not a bunch of really interesting stuff today i will say that the fall kits the glossy ones i've got most of those cut already so that's really nice well i've got most of what a normal stock would be um for this sale, I'm probably gonna have to do more, but tomorrow I will get some more footage for you guys and I will talk to you guys a little bit later. Hey guys, it is Sunday. It is 9.20 p.m. I just walked in the door from my run. I have not had dinner. Um, it's like, today has just thrown me off. Um, so, like I said, Sunday. Um, today I actually did not get a ton of work done. Instead, I worried more about getting done, like everything that I would need to do throughout the week, like errands and groceries, and just kind of making sure that I was going to be good to go for the rest of the week. Um, I'll set you guys down. So, oh, that doesn't work. That does, okay, that doesn't work either. Um, I'll put you on the sink. So I did that. I did do a lot of mass printing. Um, I really wanted to film a couple of plan with me's and I might still do that because it's still kind of early, but at the same time, like it's 9.30 and I've got to make dinner. I have all of my HelloFresh meals from this week. I have not made any of them. Sorry for that light, but I don't know that there's really much I can do. Um, so it's the last day of the Ultimate Planner sale. I've been doing a lot of that as well. Like I mentioned, I am a moderator right now for them. So I've been like keeping an eye on the group. Obviously things like went crazy as soon as the sale began, um, like with in search of posts and stuff like that. So it was a lot more to try to kind of keep an eye on. Um, but overall it was, it was a good day and I did get a lot done. It just wasn't a lot of shop related, but that is coming um tomorrow i do have to go to the doctor at three o'clock so that kind of throws off my whole day um well not my whole day what throws off my whole day is i have to go to the doctor at three mom is getting the stitches out of her thumb tomorrow morning and then 
Mike has to take, I think, my grandfather somewhere in the middle of the day. So we are all on like a totally messed up schedule. So, this is the bottle cleaner for my uh, bottles that's sticking up right here out of the sink. Um, anyway, so it kind of messes up everything for tomorrow. Mike was, I just, that whole thing just fell. Mike was gonna come um, after he was done with everything, but I would have been at the doctor when he got here, and I don't think that would have ended up being helpful for anybody. If it was mom coming, I think it would be okay, but Mike still isn't like super comfortable to just foil by himself. Um, so I think what we're gonna do instead is I'm probably gonna work all day tomorrow by myself, but nobody's gonna come until Tuesday, and then Tuesday mom's gonna come at seven, and then Mike possibly is gonna come at like 1 p.m. after she goes home, he may come out, and we're just gonna do a lot. Um, it's gonna be a lot for, I just realized on Tuesday I can't work super late. It's gonna be a lot for this entire week. Um, I wanna take you guys in the office really quickly, so, they did come and work on Saturday, and then, like I said, today's Sunday, but we did get a lot of stuff done Saturday. I am just now, like, once the sale gets a little bit closer to being done, because orders are still coming in really frequently, um, I'm going to do a pick list and see kind of what we're looking at as far as what's being needed. Um, I did, on Saturday, go ahead and do what a regular stock would have been for, I'm gonna be stuck, yep, yep. Yep, there we go. Um, a regular stock for the fall kit, the photo kit. I'm trying to get you guys somewhere. Dear Lord, what a mess. There we go. No, not really. Okay, I have to like hunch down. Um, see if I can put you on top of a portrait. Yeah, that works. So I went ahead and did that. We also got started on the hobo kits, which I would show you they're on the, the cutter still, but I just got you guys up there. I don't want to move it. So a bunch of those have been foiled. I've got like, here's a little stack of hobo kits. It's, I mean, this is like, what, 50 at least. Um, but then for the fall kits, we do have all of these finished. So these are all just the foiled sheets. These aren't the matching like non-foil that needs to go with these. So this is a decent chunk of like kits that are ready to go. I do think that we sold a ton of other stuff as well, but a lot of these fall kits sold, especially with a lot of people who buy like really frequently, they pick up new releases. Um, so I think that that's gonna be really helpful to have those ready to go. Those are all glossy. We need to start on premium. And then like I said, I need to, <laughs> I need to, sorry, I was laughing at a text on my watch. Um, I just blanked on whatever I was talking about. Oh, I need to finish up on the hobo kits. We're gonna work on those. So I think tomorrow we are almost out of glossy paper. That shipment will be here tomorrow. I've got glossy, I've got premium, and I've got clear coming. I went ahead and ordered a bunch of all three just in case. So they're all gonna be here tomorrow. I do still have plenty of premium and clear though. So if we do run out of glossy or if I run out of glossy tomorrow, I can get started on those. So I think that's what I'm gonna do next. I need to finish mass printing all of the hobo stuff as far as what we would normally stock. I don't think those numbers are gonna be correct. We're gonna need more, but it's a good place to start and it's something that I can go ahead and get going. Um, although I guess if I'm gonna pick list, I don't necessarily need to do it that way. I can go ahead and go off of the pick listed numbers. But we did get through a lot of base kits. We have not even got started on the add-on sheets um, and then I've got to see what else sold when I do these this pick list. Um, it's a lot of orders. I already know it's a lot of orders. Uh, just not really have, like I don't have too much of an idea of what is in the orders. Um, yeah, like last time I knew that we had sold about a thousand of the hobo kits because they sold out. Um, I had put a ton of them into stock and I started to notice the numbers getting so incredibly low and when I went in and checked I went ahead and did a pick list on Friday like at noon just to see and that's how I was able to see how many of those we had sold already. I did not do that this time. Um, more for my own like mental health to not have that number in my head. Uh, but I am going to do it a little bit later. I do need to cook like I said I've got to eat something. It is. It's 9.30 at night. Um, 
Honestly, the only reason that I ran so late was because I didn't run this morning and I took Oz at like 6.30, 7 o'clock to go for his walk. It's just been so hot here that I can't take him until it gets a little bit later. Um, or he just, he literally lays down on the ground and won't walk, which, I mean, I don't blame him. But anyway, that is what is going on on Sunday night. Um, like I said, tomorrow it's going to be just me. I probably, uh, maybe I'll get a little bit of footage, but I'm not too sure how much I'm going to get. Um, I do want to work through these orders in a slightly different way than what we would normally do. Normally, I like to batch out in numbers and like, or in like hundreds, hundreds of orders. Does that make sense? Like the first hundred I'd like to batch out. Um, other than like the big numbers of things, I'm not making sense. I already know I'm not making sense. But for this sale, um, I'm going straight off that pick list. So things are probably not gonna begin shipping for a couple of days. I may go through and ship um, all of those fall kits because I know that a lot of orders are gonna have just that. So I may do that, I may not. I may go ahead and pick list. We have the worst lighting ever right now. And then literally just go through and start trying to check off everything out of pick list. The one thing that I do think is gonna really throw me off is all of the clear foil. That, I can't do that that way at all. Like we will have to pull all of that. So that will more than likely be the very last thing that gets done. All those orders will get thrown to the side and then I'll put the sheets in with them and then we'll take like a whole day to do nothing but clear foil. So I'm gonna make bulgogi, I already know. So I'm just pulling this out of the fridge. Um, like I said, I've had all of this in here now for since last Monday, I've not made a single one of these meals. Um, it's just been busy. I've been like eating pizza. I'm not gonna lie. Um, I'm gonna open a beer and make this really quickly. Uh, I did clean the fridge today. Like I just got it in my head that I was like, I have to scrub out all of these shelves, take everything out of this fridge. So I did that, but that was just a random thing that happens that I had to do. Or it was gonna like, I, I couldn't handle another second of it not being done. So anyway, that's what's going on on Sunday. I'm rambling at this point. I will try to get some footage tomorrow for you guys of just what I'm working on. Um, and then I'm probably gonna go ahead and upload this. Maybe I won't though. Maybe I'll keep it for at least a little bit because it'll need to be going up by like Friday. So maybe this will be a little bit more as far as like the time period. But anyway, I'm gonna go cook and I will talk to you guys a little bit later.